Clonal selection of lymphocytes is a central principle of adaptive immunity. Remarkably, at the time that Burnett formulated his clonal selection theory, nothing was known of the antigen receptors of lymphocytes. Indeed, the function of lymphocytes themselves was still obscure. Lymphocytes did not take center stage until the early 1960s when James Gowans discovered the removal of small lymphocytes from rats resulted in the loss of all known adaptive immune responses. These immune responses were restored when the small lymphocytes were replaced. This led to the realization that lymphocytes must be the units of clonal selection, and their biology became the focus of the new field of cellular immunology. Clonal selection of lymphocytes with diverse receptors elegantly explained adaptive immunity, but it raised one significant intellectual problem. If the antigen receptors of lymphocytes are generated randomly during the lifetime of an individual, how are lymphocytes prevented from recognizing antigens on the tissues of the body and attacking them? Ray Owen had shown in the late 1940s that genetically different twin calves with a common placenta were immunologically tolerant of one another's tissues. That is, they did not make an immune response against each other. Sir Peter Medawar then showed in 1953 that if exposed to foreign tissues during embryonic development, mice become immunologically tolerant to these tissues. Burnett proposed that developing lymphocytes that are potentially self-reactive are removed before they can mature, a process known as clonal deletion. He has since been proved right in this too, although the mechanisms of tolerance are still being worked out. And that's clonal selection of lymphocytes is the central principle of adaptive immunity. Have a great day.